Former UFC lightweight champion Tony Ferguson posted on Twitter a video of Daniel Cormier weighing in ahead of UFC 210, in which he holds onto the towel, which allegedly helped him meet the light heavyweight limit. Ferguson also wrote, How not to make weight, ladies and gentlemen. They should have stripped him of the title in the same way as Charles Oliveira. My respects to all those who do it right and keep our sport clean. In response, Cormier asked Ferguson to calm down and put your head in some hole. Tony, please stop, Cormier tweeted. Relax, put your head in some hole. Get well and get well, dude. Spend some time with your family. Please stop, I am begging you. All this is not very good. You make me feel sad. What did Daniel Cormier do to offend Tony? Maybe in such a difficult time for him, it's better to not play games and social media. Why talk about old things that have already passed and been forgotten about? The pre-fight weigh-in process has become so problematic that Dana White is going to hire a security guard to oversee the weigh-in process. UFC President Dana White has said the promotion will take drastic action to make sure the nightmare scenario of Charles Oliveira's weigh-in at UFC 274 doesn't happen again. This measure is that the guard must follow the scale that the promotion calibrates. We have this problem when all the Europeans and guys from other parts of the world make kilos, they all start to struggle with the scale to look at kilos. There are so many moving parts in this monstrous machine that we run it every week, and we need a guard where the scales are now. This is what we will have to do, said Dana White. Touching the towel with your hands at the weigh-in is a well-known trick among fighters. So the famous Daniel Cormier got into a scandal in 2017 before the fight with Anthony Johnson. In an interview with Ariel Helwani, he later explained that he was holding the towel because he thought that the employees of the Athletic Commission did not hold him. And in general, because of the weight race, he did not understand what was happening. Why did you touch the towel? Well, when I got off the scale the first time, I walked away and uh, they didn't cover me, you know, so obviously, you know, a guy thinks that he's losing everything that he's worked for on the scale and you just walk back off the scale and they don't even, nobody's worried about protecting me. So I was like, you know what, I'm going to hold the towel up a little bit myself uh, to make sure that I, uh, I, uh, I'm covered. Yeah. Now, reality is I, I, I didn't even realize I was doing that until I saw pictures, honestly. Mm. I got to be completely honest with you. I didn't even realize I was doing that. You know, I was tired. Uh, I was, you know, very dis dis discouraged and upset being that, um, you know, everything that had just happened. So I didn't even realize that I was doing it. Hamzad got into exactly the same scandal on UFC 267 when he fought against Jing Liang. He was 0.5 pounds overweight. This is 230 grams. At the same time, during the weigh-in, Chimaev touched the towel. He tried to retake the weight three times but failed. When Chimaev weighed in for the fourth time, he was asked to raise his hands. Hamzat made weight by showing the required 77.6 kilograms. He managed to do without a penalty and without scandal. Oliveira was stripped of the title when he entered the octagon, following being a half-pound overweight at the 155-pound lightweight division. After Oliveira's weight loss following his second attempt at 155 pounds, he vowed he made the weight the night before the official weigh-in on Friday. But at the last check, he said he found he had put on 2.2 pounds and was forced to lose the weight again. The Arizona State Boxing and Mixed Martial Arts Commission, which regulated UFC 274, released a statement after the weigh-in failure clarifying that the official scales were calibrated correctly and added, any scales used for any purpose other than official weigh-ins, such as those that may be used by fighters to unofficially test their weight, are not calibrated or checked by commission staff as they are usually provided by the promoter. Oliveira also cited other fighters who had problems with the scale, some of whom claimed that the difference between the promotional scale and the official scale ranged from half a pound to two pounds. The ability to lose and restore weight has turned into a kind of qualification and has become a self-sufficient competition, not only in MMA, but also in other martial arts or weightlifting. The procedure, weigh-in before the fight, takes place a day before the fight, as well as how much time the weigh-in took place in different historical periods. Athletes need to meet the limit of a certain weight category. If the limit is exceeded, penalties may follow, one or several at once. A monetary penalty, deprivation of the title if the world champion did not meet the limit, exclusion from the ratings, forced transfer to a heavier division, weigh-in before the fight is the final stage for the implementation of the fight. How many days before the fight is the weigh-in? 
UFC fighter Dan Hooker spoke about what could have caused Charles Oliveira to fail at the weigh-in ceremony before the fight against Justin Gaethje. We fill ourselves with water, so it is full in our body. During the final week, we get rid of all the sugar and salt in our system through the food we eat. So when we sit in the sauna and wait, the water is already ready to leave our muscles, so we sweat. If I fail at the weigh-in, I can go back to the sauna and the water will be gone. As far as I understand, the Brazilians are gradually giving up water before the fight. They slowly limit their water intake, and then 48 hours before the weigh-in, completely refuse it. So your body goes into conservation mode, trying to hold on to all the water. So when he showed an advantage and got an hour to come back, the water was not ready to leave his muscles, Sport Kita quoted Hooker. UFC President Dana White is unhappy. According, since June 3, 2016, 62 fighters have not made weight. White suggested rescheduling the weigh-ins and making the interval between the fight and the weigh-in not 36 hours, as it is now, when the weigh-in takes place the day before, but 30 hours. This was the case until June 2016. The weigh-in took place the night before. Many fighters expressed dissatisfaction, as this would mean less recovery time. Several people tweeted at once that a failed weigh-in is always a matter of the athlete's discipline and nothing else. Thanks for watching this video. Don't forget to subscribe to our second channel where we also post interesting videos about the MMA world. And also like and subscribe if you enjoyed this video as it helps this channel grow.